Hello, YouTube. In the interest of being redundant, I'm making another uh, video. I got the fabric roof on here and uh, definitely gives it a different look. More finished. Um, that's all I got done. But it's one step closer. And uh, it really does look like the vision that I had in my mind. Uh, I guess you could say three years ago now. And now time flies. And uh, my equipment turning, it's running. I got one belt, well, two belts, but I need to probably tighten up a little bit. And one pulley. This one right here. Here's a drive power pulley and slipping on the hub, slipping on the shaft. So there are a couple ways I could go. I'll tell you, there's ways to uh, I don't know, call it cheating. There's things you can do which uh, makes these things work better. And after all, that's that's uh, that's all we're trying to do anyway is make it work. And I know the the men from 100 years ago they do what it takes to make it work. And uh, just to give you a couple of my little secrets away, which uh, if you look. I don't know if you can see that pulley, but uh, crown pulleys is what makes the belt track. And uh, when I first put it up there, the belts might be off just a little bit. So what I did was I took an uh, electrician's tape. You can see it right there on, on the, this large pulley. And I just uh, did half a dozen wraps. Give it a little bit of tiny crown, and you know what? It, it pulls the belt right over to it. I did it on this one also, and uh, this belt is uh, it's uh, tracking pretty good. I had problems with this one, this was at the beginning, and uh, I don't know if you can see it. But uh, I did it to that one, and it, it pulled the belt right into line. I mean, that belt is probably what uh, eh, drifts out an eight three sixteenths of an inch off the pulley. And now this one, you can tell me. I put it up there and, and everything just ran just the way it had auto. And, uh, and of course this one, same story. This one, this one uh, shifts a little bit awkwardly, I'll say. I I made my shifting fingers here and. and uh, I may make new fingers. Uh, this belt is not a very stiff belt, and uh, I may put uh, little fingers that go up further, up maybe another four to six inches up the belt, follow that belt, and uh, guide it, push the whole thing over, and it, it'll probably shift better than these. All these. Uh, 
of course all the cone pulleys they come crowned which uh, very seldom have any any problem at all and this one my four speed and of course my first cross I I didn't know uh, really how a, a crossed belt was going to act and I gotta tell you they had no problem they uh, now these uh, fast and loose pulleys I guess you know the, uh, the fast and loose pulleys and the and of course the power pulley off the shaft are not crowned because you have the fingers to guide the belt and uh, with the fingers all your uh, belt tracking problems go away. So, uh, and everything's run in pretty good now. My all my uh, loose pulleys are are actually running pretty smooth. And in a past video, this uh, set of pulleys right here, my fast and loose pulleys. They're cast iron. They were twin pulleys. They uh, came uh, with an 18 inch, one and an eighth inch uh, borehole in them. ID, that's the, the shaft, the jack pulley that they're on. And so I kind of left it. This, this one here is a little loose. Not bad, it's, uh, you know, the old timers they said you know you could uh, bore out cast iron and run it uh, as, a, as a cast iron bearing and uh, I, I did purchase some bronze bushings uh, for this but for now I'm, I'm uh, gonna run it the way it is um, until uh, it shows that it has a problem I guess if it doesn't have a problem change it but but I have the bushings for that one and of course this one here I, I did uh, blow this out and put my bushing in it and this one there's something to be said for those uh, bushings maybe in our modern times and we're used to bushings and and uh, doesn't sound right to run it on a, a uh, cast iron, just drill a cast iron and use that as your bushing. But the bushings I put in there, it does run smooth and nice. But I'll have to run it a while, see if we get anywhere. It, like I said, most of this stuff is, is, is very old. I haven't poured any Babbitt. And so all my bearings and, and everything is, uh, is uh, as found, as bought. I'm fairly sure that all of this stuff will outlive me and uh, will continue to turn for the next generation. Well, I just wanted to show my new my new lid. Got a new hat for the old trailer and. Uh, and she wears it well. Well, thanks for uh, subscribing and, and commenting. And if you have any more comments, uh, please leave them at the bottom. Thank you very much. Bye.